In the vast expanse of the American Southwest, the Grand Canyon stands as a silent sentinel of time, its sheer cliffs and winding rivers weaving a tapestry of geological wonder. Yet beyond its breathtaking beauty lies a secret whispered across millennia, a tale that binds it to the enigmatic realm of ancient Egypt. Scriptures dating back to the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten, the heretic king of the 18th dynasty, offer cryptic glimpses into a distant land veiled in mystery. Within the sacred texts of Akhenaten's court, references to a place known as the Canyon of Horus emerge, its existence shrouded in myth and legend. The hieroglyphic inscriptions discovered within the hallowed halls of Karnak Temple, the heart of ancient Egyptian religious worship, further illuminate this enigmatic connection. Carved into stone by the hands of scribes long forgotten, these inscriptions speak of a sacred pilgrimage undertaken by the pharaohs themselves, a journey that led them across oceans and deserts to the distant shores of a land steeped in primordial power. Among the revered texts of ancient Egypt, none hold more mystique than the emerald tablets of Thoth, the god of wisdom and magic. Legend has it that Thoth, in his divine wisdom, inscribed upon these emerald slabs the secrets of the universe, including the knowledge of interdimensional travel and the cosmic forces that bind all creation. Within the hallowed halls of the Great Library of Alexandria, scholars once pored over these esoteric texts, seeking to unlock the mysteries of existence itself. With time, the Grand Canyon has served as a sacred crossroads for countless civilizations, its towering cliffs and labyrinthine caverns bearing witness to the ebb and flow of human history. Yet, hidden beneath its rocky facade lie secrets that defy explanation, whispers of ancient civilizations lost to the sands of time. As we embark on this journey of discovery, we must heed the words of the ancients and tread lightly upon the sacred ground of the Grand Canyon, for within its depths lie not only the echoes of distant civilizations, but also the keys to unlocking the mysteries of our existence. As we delve deeper into the history of ancient Egypt, we uncover a tapestry of enigmatic scriptures and cryptic references that hint at a profound connection between the pharaohs of old and the distant canyons of the New World. Within the sacred texts of Pharaoh Akhenaten's reign, Scholars have unearthed passages veiled in symbolism and allegory, alluding to a land far beyond the borders of Egypt, a land of towering canyons and boundless vistas. It is here, amidst the shifting sands of time, that whispers of a sacred pilgrimage to the Canyon of Horus echo through the halls of Karnak Temple, revered as the holiest of sanctuaries in the ancient world. Carved into the very stones of Karnak Temple, Hieroglyphic inscriptions bear witness to the solemn vows of the pharaohs, sworn in honor of the gods who watched over their kingdom. Among these inscriptions, one name stands out above all others, Horus, the falcon-headed god of the sky and protector of the pharaoh's divine lineage. Legend has it that Horus, in his eternal vigilance, guided the souls of the departed pharaohs on a celestial journey across the heavens, leading them to the fabled Canyon of Horus, where the spirits of the righteous were said to dwell for all eternity. Yet, as the sands of time shift and the echoes of ancient voices fade into silence, the true nature of this sacred journey remains shrouded in mystery. In the hallowed halls of Karnak Temple, where the gods once walked among mortals, the secrets of the ancients lie waiting to be revealed. Here, amidst the towering obelisks and towering pylons, we glimpse a glimpse of a lost chapter in the saga of humanity, a chapter written in the language of stone and spoken in the whispers of the wind. In the shadowy recesses of ancient Egyptian temples, a clandestine brotherhood of priests safeguarded secrets that transcended the bounds of mortal understanding. Within their hallowed halls, scrolls adorned with cryptic symbols and maps etched with celestial pathways whispered of journeys into the unknown, journeys that traversed the very fabric of reality itself. These sacred texts, entrusted to the guardianship of the priesthood, spoke of a realm beyond the mortal realm, where gods and men walked side by side amidst towering cliffs and winding rivers. Among these texts, none held more mystique than the scrolls that bore witness to the sacred pilgrimage to the Canyon of Horus. For centuries, these scrolls remained hidden from prying eyes, their knowledge veiled in layers of symbolic language and esoteric wisdom. 
yet, whispers of their existence persisted, passed down through the generations by those initiated into the mysteries of the ancient priesthood. It is said that the high priests of Egypt possessed the power to commune with the gods themselves, their rituals and incantations unlocking the secrets of the universe. Within the hidden chambers of temple vaults, they delved into the depths of the human soul, seeking enlightenment amidst the chaos of the world. But amidst the splendor of their rituals and the grandeur of their temples, a shadow lurked, a shadow born of hubris and pride. For in their quest for divine knowledge, the priests of Egypt dared to tread where mortals feared to go, venturing into the very heart of the Grand Canyon in search of answers long forgotten. In the fading light of dusk, they carved their secrets into the stone, inscribing their names upon the walls of the canyon for all eternity. Yet as the sands of time shifted and the echoes of their voices faded into silence, their legacy remained, a testament to the boundless ambition of those who dared to defy the gods themselves. Within the depths of the Grand Canyon, time itself becomes a fluid and mutable force, bending and twisting in ways beyond mortal comprehension. Esoteric scholars and seekers of arcane knowledge whisper of the canyon's role as a nexus, a point where the boundaries of past, present, and future blur into a seamless tapestry of existence. Legends passed down through the ages speak of portals hidden amidst the rugged cliffs and winding rivers, gateways that open onto realms beyond mortal reckoning. Among these portals, none are more mysterious than those said to lead to distant epochs of human history where ancient civilizations once flourished amidst the sands of time. Accounts of unexplained encounters and artifacts discovered within the canyon fuel speculation of temporal anomalies, where artifacts of modernity mingle with relics of antiquity in a surreal tableau of existence. Some claim to have witnessed apparitions of long dead pharaohs walking the canyon's depths, their ghostly visages a testament to the timeless power of the land. Yet amidst the whispers of lost souls and echoes of forgotten ages, a warning rings clear, a warning of the dangers that lurk within the temporal maelstrom of the Grand Canyon. For to venture too far into its depths is to risk becoming lost in time itself, forever trapped within the labyrinthine corridors of eternity. In the intricate dance between nature and human ingenuity, the Grand Canyon stands as a testament to the awe-inspiring power of creation. Yet, amidst its towering cliffs and winding rivers, lie echoes of a civilization long past, a civilization whose architectural legacy echoes across the millennia. Surprising parallels exist between the sacred structures of ancient Egypt and the natural wonders of the Grand Canyon, hinting at a profound connection that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Could it be that the architects of ancient Egypt drew inspiration from the majestic beauty of the canyon, weaving its primordial forms into the very fabric of their civilization? Among the most iconic symbols of ancient Egypt are the towering pyramids of Giza, their geometric perfection a testament to the mathematical precision of their creators. Yet nestled within the heart of the Grand Canyon, we find echoes of these sacred shapes pyramidal formations that rise from the earth like monuments to a forgotten era. But the parallels do not end there. Indeed, the parallels between the ancient temples of Luxor and Karnak and the natural formations of the Grand Canyon extend beyond mere resemblance. They speak to a deeper connection between the two cultures, rooted in a shared understanding of the cosmos and the forces that govern it. The temples of Luxor and Karnak, built thousands of years ago along the banks of the Nile, were not merely architectural marvels. They were cosmic observatories, meticulously aligned with the movements of the stars and planets. From the alignment of temple pylons with the rising sun on the summer solstice to the orientation of temple axes with the circumpolar stars, every aspect of their design was imbued with astronomical significance. Similarly, the natural formations of the Grand Canyon bear witness to the celestial dance of the heavens, with alignments between key landmarks and astronomical phenomena that mirror the precision of Egyptian architecture. For example, the alignment of certain rock formations with the rising and setting of the sun on the equinoxes suggests an intimate knowledge of solar cycles among the indigenous peoples of the American Southwest. Just as the ancient Egyptians believed in the power of cosmic energies to influence the course of human affairs, 
so too do the indigenous tribes of the American Southwest recognize the spiritual significance of celestial events. For millennia, they have observed the movements of the stars and planets, interpreting them as signs and omens from the gods. In both cultures, the study of astronomy was not merely a scientific endeavor, it was a sacred practice, intimately linked with the religious and spiritual beliefs of the people. Whether in the towering temples of ancient Egypt or the rugged cliffs of the Grand Canyon, the heavens were seen as a source of inspiration and guidance, a reminder of humanity's place in the vast tapestry of the universe. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, the Grand Canyon emerges as a celestial theater where the heavens themselves trace their arcs across the earthly stage. Within its rugged confines, alignments between key landmarks and celestial phenomena whisper of a profound connection to the stars, a connection that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Ancient Egyptian texts speak of a sacred harmony between the earthly realm and the celestial spheres, where the movements of the stars guided the hands of mortal architects in the construction of sacred temples and monuments. Among the most revered of these structures are the temples of Luxor and Karnak, their alignments meticulously calibrated to mirror the patterns of the heavens above. Yet, as we gaze upon the majestic formations of the Grand Canyon, we find echoes of this celestial harmony etched into the very fabric of the land. Alignments between key landmarks within the canyon and astronomical phenomena reveal a profound understanding of cosmic energies, a knowledge shared by both ancient Egyptian priests and the indigenous peoples of the American Southwest. Some theorists propose that these alignments served not only as markers of time and season, but also as conduits for the flow of cosmic energies, a belief held sacred by cultures around the world. Within the hallowed halls of ancient temples, rituals were performed to harness these energies, channeling their power to bring blessings upon the land and its people. In the heart of the American Southwest, the Grand Canyon stands as a testament to the enduring spiritual legacy of the land, a legacy that spans countless generations and touches the very soul of humanity. Among the indigenous peoples who have called this sacred landscape home, the canyon holds a special place in their hearts, revered as a portal to the realm of the gods and a repository of ancestral wisdom. Among the tribes of the Navajo, Hopi, and Havasupai, the canyon is more than just a geological wonder. It is a living entity, imbued with the spirit of the land and the memories of those who have walked its ancient trails. Legends passed down through the ages speak of portals to other realms hidden within the canyon's depths, where the spirits of the departed are said to dwell in eternal peace. For the Hopi, the Grand Canyon is the dwelling place of Masa, the guardian of the earth who watches over the land and its people. According to their creation myth, it was Masa who led the Hopi through the underground passages of the canyon to their present-day home, guiding them to safety amidst the chaos of the world. Among the Navajo, the canyon is known as Tse Bighanalini, or the place where water runs through rocks. It is here that the Navajo trace their origins back to the time of the emergence, when their ancestors emerged from the underworld to inhabit the earth. Yet amidst the tales of gods and heroes lies a deeper truth, a truth that transcends the boundaries of time and space. For within the sacred depths of the Grand Canyon, the spirits of the ancient Egyptians are said to wander, their souls drawn to this remote corner of the world in search of eternal rest. According to the tribes of the American Southwest, this city is guarded by powerful spirits who watch over its ancient ruins protecting its secrets from the prying eyes of mortal men. Among the tribes of the Navajo, Hopi, and Havasupai, tales of the lost city have been passed down through the generations, woven into the fabric of their oral traditions. Known by many names, Shukopovi, Palatkwapi, or simply the City of the Dead, it is said to be a place of great mystery and power, where the spirits of the Ancient Ones still linger. Archaeological evidence lends credence to these ancient tales, with recent discoveries suggesting the presence of ancient settlements dating back thousands of years. Radiocarbon dating of artifacts found within the canyon suggests that these settlements may predate known Native American civilizations, 
hinting at a lost chapter of human history buried beneath the sands of time. Among the most intriguing of these discoveries are the remnants of stone structures and petroglyphs etched into the canyon walls, their intricate designs bearing witness to the artistic skill of their creators. Yet despite decades of research and exploration, the true extent of these ancient settlements remains shrouded in mystery, their secrets waiting to be unlocked by those brave enough to venture into the depths of the canyon. In ancient Egypt, few figures loom as large as Thoth, the god of wisdom, magic, and writing. It is said that Thoth, in his divine wisdom, inscribed upon emerald tablets the secrets of the universe, the very essence of creation itself. These tablets, known as the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, are said to contain the sum total of all human knowledge, encapsulated within cryptic verses and enigmatic symbols. According to legend, Thoth bestowed these tablets upon humanity as a gift, a guiding light to illuminate the path of enlightenment and self-discovery. Within their sacred pages lie the keys to unlocking the mysteries of existence and transcending the limitations of mortal understanding. Speculation abounds that hidden within the cryptic verses of the Emerald Tablets lies a connection to the Grand Canyon, a connection that transcends the boundaries of time and space. Some theorists suggest that the tablets may contain clues to the ancient pilgrimage undertaken by the pharaohs to the Canyon of Horus, while others propose that they hold the key to unlocking the celestial alignments and hidden portals hidden within the depths of the canyon. Yet despite centuries of study and contemplation, the true nature of the emerald tablets remains shrouded in mystery. Some believe that they were lost to the sands of time, hidden away by the ancient priests who guarded them from prying eyes. Others claim that they still lie hidden within the vaults of forgotten temples, awaiting the chosen one who will unlock their secrets and unleash their power upon the world. The Grand Canyon's geological formations lies a hidden language, a language of shapes and symbols that echo across the ages, connecting civilizations separated by continents and millennia. Among these formations, geometric patterns emerge, bearing a striking resemblance to the sacred symbols and rituals of ancient Egypt. Within the temples of Luxor and Karnak, priests and priestesses performed elaborate ceremonies their movements guided by the precise angles and proportions of sacred geometry. From the perfect symmetry of the pyramids to the intricate patterns of the flower of life, geometry played a central role in Egyptian cosmology, symbolizing the harmonious balance of the universe. Yet as we gaze upon the rugged cliffs and towering spires of the Grand Canyon, we find echoes of these sacred geometries etched into the very fabric of the land. Triangles, circles, and spirals intertwine in a symphony of shapes, their meanings obscured by the passage of time yet resonating with a timeless significance. Some theorists propose that these shared geometries signify a deeper cosmic harmony understood by both ancient Egyptians and the indigenous peoples of the American Southwest. They suggest that the patterns found within the Grand Canyon's rock formations may serve as markers of ley lines or energetic pathways that crisscross the earth, connecting sacred sites and aligning with celestial phenomena. The cosmologies of ancient Egypt and the indigenous peoples of the American Southwest intertwine like threads in the tapestry of creation. Comparative analysis of their beliefs reveals striking parallels suggesting a shared spiritual heritage that transcends the boundaries of time and space. In the sacred texts of ancient Egypt, the creation of the universe is depicted as a primordial act of divine will, wherein the god Adam emerged from the chaotic waters of Nun to bring order to the cosmos. From Adam's breath, the gods were born, and with them, the heavens and the earth were formed, a testament to the power of creation inherent in all living beings. Similarly, among the tribes of the Navajo, Hopi, and Havasupai, creation is viewed as a sacred act of balance and harmony where the forces of light and darkness converge to bring forth life. According to Navajo cosmology, the holy people emerged from the underworld to inhabit the earth, shaping its landscapes and guiding its inhabitants in the ways of harmony and respect. Central to both cosmologies is the belief in the cyclical nature of existence, where life and death are but two sides of the same coin. Among the ancient Egyptians, 
The journey of the soul was depicted as a perilous voyage through the underworld, where the deceased faced judgment before the gods and the weighing of the heart against the feather of truth. Similarly, among the indigenous tribes of the American Southwest, the journey of the soul is viewed as a sacred pilgrimage through the realms of existence, where the spirits of the departed navigate the challenges of the afterlife in search of eternal peace. Shared motifs of rebirth, renewal, and transformation echo across the ages, weaving a tapestry of spiritual wisdom that transcends the boundaries of culture and creed. As we stand upon the threshold of the Grand Canyon, let us honor the wisdom of the ancients and the enduring legacy of their spiritual teachings. For within the shared cosmologies of ancient Egypt and the Native American tribes lies the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe and the true nature of our own divine heritage. The discovery of an enigmatic rock formation resembling the Sphinx of Giza within the Grand Canyon has ignited fervent speculation among researchers and enthusiasts alike. This geological marvel, often referred to as the Sphinx of the West, has raised intriguing questions about ancient transcontinental migrations and the possibility of prehistoric cultural exchanges between distant civilizations. The resemblance between the Sphinx of Giza and its counterpart in the Grand Canyon is striking, with both featuring a lion-like body and a human-like face, albeit weathered by millennia of erosion. This uncanny similarity has led some to propose the existence of a lost civilization that once thrived in the heart of North America, a civilization whose influence extended far beyond the confines of its homeland. Among the proponents of this theory is controversial researcher Dr. John Anthony West, who has argued that the Sphinx of the West may be evidence of a prehistoric cultural connection between ancient Egypt and the indigenous peoples of North America. According to West, the presence of Egyptian motifs and symbols among Native American tribes suggests the possibility of transoceanic voyages or cultural diffusion between the two continents. However, mainstream archaeologists remain skeptical of such claims, citing a lack of concrete evidence to support the hypothesis of ancient transcontinental migrations. Instead, they suggest that the Sphinx of the West may simply be a natural rock formation sculpted by the forces of wind and water over millions of years, a testament to the power of erosion and geological processes. Yet amidst the debate and speculation, one truth remains clear. The Sphinx of the West stands as a testament to the enduring mystery of the Grand Canyon and the secrets that lie hidden within its depths. Whether a product of ancient civilizations or the hand of nature itself, this enigmatic formation continues to captivate the imagination of all who behold it reminding us of the boundless wonders of the natural world. There are reports of inexplicable time distortions, where minutes seem to stretch into hours and the passage of time becomes a fluid and mutable force. Early explorers recount tales of journeys into the canyon's depths, where the boundaries between past, present, and future blur into a seamless tapestry of existence. Some describe feeling as though they had stepped into a different era altogether, where ancient civilizations coexist with modernity in a surreal tableau of time and space. Among the most famous of these accounts is that of John Wesley Powell, the legendary explorer who led the first successful expedition down the Colorado River through the heart of the Grand Canyon in 1869. Powell's journals speak of strange encounters and unexplained phenomena, including instances where entire days seem to vanish without a trace leaving his companions bewildered and disoriented. But Powell was not alone in his experiences. Countless other adventurers and explorers have reported similar encounters with temporal anomalies within the canyon's depths, leading some to speculate about the existence of hidden portals or gateways to other dimensions. Could these temporal anomalies be linked to the temporal paradoxes hinted at in ancient texts? Some researchers believe so, pointing to cryptic references in Egyptian and Native American scriptures that speak of journeys through time and space. According to these texts, certain sacred sites, including the Grand Canyon, are said to be nexus points where the boundaries between worlds converge, offering glimpses into alternate timelines or forgotten epics of human history. Deep within the oral traditions of Native American tribes lies a prophecy as ancient as the land itself, a prophecy that speaks of a time when the secrets of the Grand Canyon will be revealed to humanity, 
ushering in a new era of understanding and harmony with the earth. Known by many names among different tribes, this prophecy foretells of a spiritual awakening, a reconnection with the land, and a rediscovery of the sacred wisdom that lies hidden within its depths. Among the Hopi, the prophecy is known as the Emergence into the Fifth World, a time when humanity will undergo a profound transformation and return to a state of balance and harmony with the natural world. According to Hopi elders, the Grand Canyon is one of the key sacred sites that will play a central role in this awakening, serving as a gateway between worlds and a bridge to the spiritual realms beyond. Similarly, among the Navajo, the canyon is revered as a place of great power and significance, a place where the spirits of the ancestors dwell and the secrets of the universe are written in the very stones themselves. According to Navajo tradition, the unfolding exploration of the canyon is seen as a fulfillment of ancient prophecies, signaling a resurgence of interest in the spiritual teachings of the past and a reconnection with the land that sustains us all. In the modern age of exploration, fueled by technological advancements and a relentless quest for knowledge, the mysteries of the Grand Canyon continue to beckon to adventurers and scientists alike. Despite decades of study and exploration, much of the canyon's secrets remain shrouded in mystery, waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to venture into its depths. Expeditions seeking to unravel the enigmas of the Grand Canyon have encountered a myriad of challenges, from treacherous terrain to unpredictable weather conditions. Yet despite the obstacles, these intrepid explorers press on, driven by a desire to unlock the secrets that lie hidden within the canyon's labyrinthine depths. Among the most intriguing discoveries made by modern explorers are enigmatic artifacts that defy explanation. From ancient petroglyphs etched into the canyon walls to curious rock formations that seem to defy the laws of physics, these artifacts hint at a rich tapestry of human history and geological phenomena waiting to be unraveled. One of the most famous expeditions into the Grand Canyon was led by archaeologist Dr. Clarence Dutton in the late 19th century. Dutton's pioneering work laid the groundwork for future research into the canyon's geological and archaeological mysteries, inspiring generations of scientists to continue the quest for knowledge. In recent years, advances in technology have enabled researchers to probe deeper into the canyon's secrets than ever before. LiDAR scanning, satellite imaging, and ground-penetrating radar have revealed tantalizing glimpses of hidden chambers, underground rivers, and ancient settlements buried beneath the surface. Yet for all the advancements in technology, the Grand Canyon remains a place of profound mystery and wonder. As modern explorers continue to uncover its hidden secrets, they are reminded of the timeless allure of this ancient landscape and the endless possibilities that lie waiting to be discovered. The Grand Canyon stands as more than just a geological marvel. It is a testament to the enduring mysteries of our world, serving as a bridge between ancient civilizations and modern inquiry. Despite centuries of exploration and research, the canyon continues to guard its secrets with a silent, immutable majesty. From the cryptic scriptures of ancient Egypt to the sacred legends of Native American tribes, the canyon holds echoes of a distant past, whispering of connections that transcend the boundaries of time and space. It is a place where the mysteries of the cosmos intersect with the secrets of the earth inviting explorers and scholars to delve deeper into its depths in search of truth and understanding. As exploration and research continue, perhaps the true nature of the Grand Canyon's connection to ancient Egypt will finally be revealed. Through interdisciplinary collaboration and a steadfast dedication to uncovering the hidden truths that lie buried within its rugged terrain, we may yet unlock the secrets of this ancient and enigmatic landscape. But regardless of what discoveries may lie ahead, one thing remains certain. The Grand Canyon will continue to inspire awe and wonder for generations to come, reminding us of the boundless mysteries that await us in the vast unknown.